called from love, called from hope, and peace from peace. And I got my friend Mickey and uh, Minnie, they're all excited, and it's time for story time about love again. Yay! Togetherness. And we can overcome in love if we all just stick together. All of us. Everyone of love. And that's the secret. Because at the Tower of Babel, God said, if we stand together, there's nothing that we can't achieve. <sighs> and he sends us that unity. And he sends us his best kiss. His gentle word of love that should tug at our hearts. And that shall it always. And it shall come to pass that the spirit of our King Eternal will let his rivers flow over our souls to wash them clean into the mightiest ocean of his forgiveness and straight into the sparkling seas of Jehovah's forgetfulness. Blessed are those seeking the truth of God's kingdom within this hallowed message of Christ's uh, word come alive, the restoration of Acts 3.21 the realization that the new covenant that Christianity stands on has always been the kingdom age new covenant exactly as it is foretold in Haggai 2.2 2 and Jeremiah 1.10 that God's word would te tear down all the kingdoms of man's faith at the end because now the real faith comes which transcends all imagination Believers or unbelievers, it's never mattered. It's do you have your light on? Because the words of First John 4, 7 were literal always. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. So the open-minded shall discover that the highest truth of the kingdom of our Lord shall always reign within them as they honor our trinity of love by trusting him with all of their hearts and all of their souls. Let their passion flare. Be born again. Jesus said many times you have to be as little children if you want to be born again. And he, he said that the, the born again thing could not even be defined. It, it, you could not know. It's as the wind where it blows. And yet Christians have wrongly defined it for 2,000 years when it was way over-spiritualized. Earth has been, never been so distressed. It is the trial of all flesh, Revelation 3, to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. And now it's the, a terribly bleak hour if we don't stand together. And I'm, 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 I'm hearing and seeing some great stories about people really becoming heroes during this. And there's some bad stories too. There's good and bad. But overall, this is a, a great pause, a reset button. And we need to take the time to have patience, at least with this messenger, because the message I have is going to rock and roll planet Earth. And speaking of rock and roll, uh, watch my uh, rock star debut uh, where I first gave the covenant to all mankind as it is written in Jeremiah 32, 27. It's in a, uh, one of my videos, The Prophetic Word of Joel Austin. It's worth watching.